Hey everyone, I'm Maria from SummerGirlFitness.com. Welcome to your relaxing, stretching routine. So this routine you can add on after any of my other workout videos. You could do it after a run or your own workout at the gym, or you could just do it on a rest day when you just really want to take some time to stretch out those muscles. So I'm not going to put any background music on this video, so that way you can just go ahead and turn on whatever type of relaxing music you like, um, maybe some waterfall sounds or just some calming music from Spotify, and then I'll walk you through the stretches. So you don't need any equipment, just your mat. Um, and then just give yourself that time to love your body and stretch it out. So to get started, I just want you to bring both soles of your feet together so the bottoms of your feet are together. You've got your knees out to the side. Now, I don't want you to flap them like butterfly wings like we always did in gym class. I just want you to hold it here and just let them open up as much as they're able to. And then slowly, slowly, we're gonna start to walk down and bend a little bit forward. And you're gonna feel that stretch right here. And so you're just gently lowering that chest down And breathing. Now we're going to hold these stretches for maybe a little bit longer than what you might be used to, but it's to really give those muscles a chance to relax into the stretch. And so as we're stretching here, you're just lowering down a little bit more each time, taking some nice deep breaths. And then slowly come up. Now I want you to extend one leg out long and then bring the other heel in close. First, we're going to lower down center. You can place your arms on the ground if you're able to. And then you're gonna reach one arm toward the extended leg and reach the other arm up and over a nice big stretch. Breathing through the side body and feeling that stretch all along the side. Lowering down just a little bit more and then reach back up. Nice job. We're going to take that over to the other side. So again, bring that heel in. We're going to slowly lower down towards the center. Breathe in and out. Lowering down just again as far as you're able to. If any of these stretches feel uncomfortable, feel free to just take a breather and um, skip any stretches that you just don't feel your body is ready for. Extend that arm towards the leg, reach up and over, stretch out that side body, breathe into the side of the body. Stretch, stretch, feels so good to stretch, feeling it all along that side. And bring it up. Nice job. Now I want you to bring that leg in, but not crisscross applesauce. Just place one foot kind of in front of the other. And then you're going to take one hand on the opposite knee. Rotate and look behind. So you're really twisting through that torso. Big breaths here. And switch. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Rotate and look over your shoulder. Bring it back center. We're going to take one arm across for a shoulder stretch. Make sure the elbow doesn't come up into the ear. Keep it down and stretch it all the way across. I've actually had a lot of requests for more stretching videos, which I think is awesome because I know none of us stretch as much as we should. And switch. And the stretching video is nice because sometimes you don't want to do a full yoga class. You just really just want stretching. And so that's what, what this is, just basic stretching without any of the yoga poses or anything like that. We're going to do a tricep stretch to take the elbow. It's like you're patting yourself on the back and then gently, gently pull that elbow back, but not, not hard or um, quickly, just a slow, gentle, gentle pull to feel that stretch. And switch.
and bring it down. We're going to go for some head rolls. So we're going to take chin down to the chest, take it all the way around, and reverse. Opposite direction around. This feels so good, especially after a long day. If you've been sitting, One more. Now we're going to take the head and just lean it over to one side. Gently, just a gentle pull just to feel that stretch there. And switch. And then nod your head yes. And no. One more time. Yes, I would like some healthy food. No, I do not want any french fries. Oh, thanks. All right, so now we're gonna do our wrists. So I want you to do some nice wrist circles here and around the other way. Open up those palms, bring the fingers in one at a time, open and close. This is great, especially if you type a lot. We've got muscles in our fingers too, so we've got to make sure we're paying attention there as well. One more time. Nice job. We're going to extend the fingers. Gently pull the fingers down towards your chest. And switch. One more time. This one feels really good too. And switch. Nice. Now we're going to do a big chest opener. So I want you to hug the beach ball right here. Open up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Open up, open up. And then around the spine. Open up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Shoulder blades together. And round. And open. And round one more time. Big, big, big open and round. Nice job. Now we're going to turn to the side, extending those legs out nice and long. So I want you to take a big reach up, exhale down towards your toes. And I want you to think more about lowering and bringing your chest towards your feet. If you can't touch your toes, that's totally fine. Just reach as far as you're able to. Another big reach up, reach, 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 nice and tall. Inhale, exhale towards your toes. Now we're going to take one foot. We're going to cross it over the opposite leg. Use that elbow to twist and press away. And go ahead and switch. Stretching that outer thigh. We stretch the inner thigh in our first stretch with that butterfly. Now we're stretching that outer thigh. And release. Now we're going to roll all the way down to the ground. All right, now from here, you're going to go ahead and hug one knee into the chest. You're going to hug it in close, pull it in as close as you can. And then I want you to rotate that ankle around. So our ankles are another thing we don't want to forget. And reverse, rotate around the opposite direction. And then go ahead and extend that leg up to the ceiling. Pull gently behind either your calf or your thigh, just never behind the knee. And gently pull towards you. So this is your hamstring stretch. Now hamstrings get so tight. So you want to really just be gentle here with this. Now as we hold, I want you to gently start to pull towards you a little bit at a time. So take a nice big inhale, exhale, pull towards you. And again, big inhale, exhale, pull towards you. So as you hold, you should see that stretch get a little bit, a little bit better. One more tight, big inhale. 
exhale, pull towards you. Great job. All right, go ahead and cross the ankle over the knee. You're gonna weave your hands through, pull behind that opposite thigh, pull towards your chest. We're stretching out that glute here. You can also gently press on the outside knee if you'd like. And release, go ahead and drop that knee all the way over. Keep this shoulder on the ground. And bring it back to center. I want you to go ahead and hug the opposite knee into the chest. Rotate that ankle around. And switch. And extend that leg up. Pull gently behind either that calf or the thigh. Gently pull towards you. So you'll see when you start the stretch, you might be, you know, really, really at like a 90 degree angle and then with time, or maybe even less, and then with time you can gently start to open up and stretch a little bit deeper. And that's why it's important to hold, especially the hamstring stretch, for a long amount of time. All right, so let's take that big inhale. Exhale, pull towards you. Inhale, exhale, pull towards you. Inhale, exhale, pull towards you. And go ahead and cross that ankle over the knee. Weave those hands through. Stretch out your glute. Again, you can gently press on that outside knee if you'd like. And go ahead and drop that knee all the way across. Look the opposite direction. And bring it back to center. Great job. Now we're going to flip over onto our stomach. So we flipped over. I want you to go ahead and place your hands right at your chest and then slowly, slowly press up, looking up to the sky, stretching out those abs. Lower back down. One more time. Gently press up. And from here, we're going to press back into a child's pose. Walk those fingertips forward. Now we're going to walk those fingertips over to one side of your mat. And then walk them over to the other side of the mat. Next, we're going to open up those knees a little bit wider. Sit back into that child's pose one more time. We're going to come up arms to all fours. We're going to do a quick cat cow. So I want you to flex and look down towards your mat, round that spine, and then extend and look up. And again, round, and 
round up, flexion, look up, extension. One more time. Flex and round, extend. Nice job. Now go ahead, have seat. And I want to end with a quick visualization. So just go ahead and bring your hands. You can place them just on your legs right here, just wherever they relax. And then go ahead and close your eyes. And we're going to start by just taking a couple nice deep breaths. So I want you to take a nice big inhale for four counts. Hold at the top for four. Exhale nice and long for eight counts. Long, long, long exhale. Just count it out in your head. Big exhale, all the air out. One more time. Inhale for four. Hold for four. Exhale for eight. Long exhale. Now keep your eyes closed and what I want you to do here is just to think about a place that you've been that you felt really safe and you felt happy and you just felt amazing. It might be um, at a beach, it might be somewhere in your childhood home, maybe on a tree swing or on a park bench or it could be up in the mountains, it could be walking through a garden, it could be laying on a beach, whatever. Just think about a place where you always feel relaxed, no matter what's going on. If you were in that place, you would just feel safe and relaxed. And I want you to picture that place in your head. Imagine that you're there. What, what does it smell like? What does it feel like? Picture that place in your head. Think about all the details. And I want you to remember this place. Remember this safe place. Remember this relaxing place. So that anytime you get stressed, you can always come back to this place and it belongs to you and it's unique to you and we all can have that relaxing safe place in our own minds that we can go to whenever we're stressed just for a couple minutes to feel that same relaxation so you are all done stretching for the day i hope you enjoyed this just nice and easy stretching routine and a little bit of visualization at the end it's a really powerful tool that you can use just any day so again, I'm Maria from summergirlfitness.com. If you enjoyed this workout, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. Uh, let me know where you're doing this workout, at workout or stretching routine at and um, what types of videos you'd like to see in the future. You can also find me on social media. My Instagram is just at summergirlfitness um, and leave me a comment there and say hi. So I hope you, have, you all have a beautiful rest of your day. I'll see you next time.